new market tax credit has been a, a godsend, quite frankly. It has worked beyond anybody's expectation. It's not about Republicans or Democrats or conservatives or liberals. It's about a program that focuses on results. One of the big impediments to low-income communities has been lack of access to capital. And the new market tax credit really addresses that issue. It can be a theater. It can be a manufacturer. It could be a YMCA. As long as the market is an underserved market, we're flexible as to how the funds are invested. And what we're talking about is revitalizing communities. So that we can continue to encourage investment, job creation, continue to encourage economic growth. The credit works, delivering more than $60 billion in investment, hundreds of thousands of jobs in both rural and urban communities. If we get it permanent, we'll get great investment, job creation, and economic growth. Low-income communities all across America are being revitalized through help from the New Markets Tax Credit. Since 2003, the credit has brought private investment to the places where it's needed most. Investments that mean jobs, stronger communities, and a better future. It works like this. Private capital reaches economically distressed areas through financing organizations with local ties. These community development entities, or CDEs, are at the center of New Market's tax credit transactions. A CDE applies for tax credits with the Department of the Treasury. Investors, most of which are private financial institutions, then invest into the CDEs in exchange for the credits. Equipped with this capital, the CDE seeks out investment opportunities in distressed communities with a potential for high impact. For example, the CDE identifies a company that wants to build a new plant on the site of an abandoned factory. The company raises part of the money but can't find private sector capital because of its location in a disadvantaged community. The CDE thinks it's a great project and backs it with New Market's tax credit financing. The plant is built, residents find jobs, spurring new economic activity, and the community thrives. With federal community development spending declining 75% in the past 30 years, the New Markets Tax Credit is a flexible and efficient way to encourage investment in urban and rural areas that conventional lenders often avoid. Areas typically struggling with high unemployment and poverty rates. The local and national benefits are huge. In the program's first 10 years, billions of dollars were invested and hundreds of thousands of jobs were created. The beauty is that projects are proposed locally, such as grocery stores, healthcare and childcare centers, and other community facilities. Each community decides how to meet its own needs. And to top it off, the new market's tax credit pays for itself. In any given year, it generates more federal tax revenue than it costs. But even with bipartisan support, the program's long-term results have depended on short-term extensions by Congress. What's needed is a permanent extension that gives communities, businesses, and local economies the reliable means to build a better future. Everything came together. I mean, the, the Alicefield plant is on the right place. It's on a river. It's in a wood basket. You've got to have trees. And we had people that wanted to work that just didn't have that opportunity. All those things existed before Nina Marcus tax credit. That was just the catalyst for making it possible for us to move forward. We'd probably be sitting here today talking about building a plant down there uh, instead of actually having 63 employees and a, and a big economic impact. Uh, Aliceville, of course, is in Pickens County. And across the county, there's just not a lot of good employment opportunities. There's a lot of uh, seasonal type work and some casual labor, but we were looking to create jobs that really would be more career type jobs. 
when this plant came, I, w I was a painter, basic labor work. This job here is one of the highest paying jobs in Aliceville. It really helped, helped the city out in a big way. The New Marcus Tax Credit particularly works for developing jobs in rural communities. This allowed us to invest and create some infrastructure in a rural community that we hope will have a ripple effect. We'd like to see an expansion of this plant and the possibility for other plants. I've been in our community for over 20 years. We've had multiple attempts to build a facility like this and it has never gotten off the ground because there just hasn't been enough capital available to be able to pursue that. It's, you know, it's tough to, to get basic things uh, uh, even with the generosity of the business community. And if it weren't for the new market tax credit, it wouldn't have happened. We currently have 70 employees. And we will continue to expand staffing as the needs arise to, to continue to meet the needs of our community. I am 92 years old. Just as I get up and brush my teeth and comb my hair, I come to aerobics three times a week. It's just a positive thing in your life. I said, oh my God, this place is so nice. <laughs> they have so many things, activities, activities for parents and kids. Children's Institute is based in Los Angeles. We serve children and families who've been affected by trauma, poverty, and violence. And the Otis Booth campus is our flagship. This was a very, very ambitious project. We wanted to provide a space that was not only for clinical help, but a place for people to be where people are just coming through the doors because they know this is a, a helping and friendly and welcoming environment. To put it simply, we would not be standing here today without the New Markets Tax Credit Program. I just thank God that I came here. I was in need. Children's Institute have been a lot of help in my life. That's the words that you're using to create the sentences? The Otis Booth campus has allowed us to directly serve over 5,000 children and family members a year. But beyond that, it's given the community a sense of pride. And when you start to see the success of projects like ours, it's not just us who benefits. It's the larger city, it's the larger society, everybody wins. The uh, McCoy Grain Terminal is a railroad terminal, 110 car unit train. The uh, cars load here at 60,000 bushels per hour. And that's 440,000 bushels. No other facility in the Pacific Northwest can match it. It's unbelievable. The McCoy Grain Terminal has meant a lot to area farmers increased our efficiency and our profitability. 
and that is an immediate economic impact to a small community. That's money that's being spent in the grocery stores, at the fuel stations. The end result is creating more jobs, so it has a huge benefit. If not for the new Marcus tax credits, McCoy Grain Terminal would not exist. It's been huge, huge. If uh, the grower does well, the economy in the state does well. It's a way to go in and make the most of a community that uh, otherwise would be falling back, that already has uh, the elements of community there that just need to be spruced up. When we first began in 99, I thought, well, we could start a program where we just tutor them after school. Sports are very important, can be a great motivator to kids. I grew up playing squash, and so it was a kind of natural combination with education. So today, we'll be talking to you about gender roles. I come on Mondays and Wednesdays. I start with academic sessions. Then I go to squash. I love it. This is the best sport ever. Our goal is to take students when they enter in sixth grade and help them academically and address any social issues that may be going on. And the expectation is that they're gonna work hard academically and that the goal is for them to go to college. The New Marcus Tax Credits program was critically important in street squash being able to finance the capital project that created this facility. There's a real feeling of community and energy and spirit that could never have existed had we not had our own facilities. People are always, always, you know, involved. They know your parents, they know your teachers, they know your grades. It's just that constant contact and support. Street Squash just helped me realize that like I need school to be able to be successful in life and to just, you know, do the things that I want to do when I grow older. The New Markets tax credit creates opportunity. It creates economic opportunity. It creates social opportunity as well. And that's why it's important to continue to invest in it. If you really want to draw an investor class to low-income communities, they need some sense of predictability. The New Markets Tax Credit Program is representative of a program that works and we need to support. This is a dead-bang winner. Making it permanent is critically important to providing that stability and growing the program.